we're now at the base of the Queensboro Bridge in Queens Plaza. We are gathered to begin the inaugural ride of the new Queens Boulevard protected bike lane uh, that's currently under construction uh, by DOT. Uh, they've started phase one, it's a 1.5 mile stretch uh, that runs from 50th Street all the way to 73rd. And so we're going to run down the stretch and back that's currently been uh, completed to celebrate. I think this is a great turnout. We have a lot of people here who volunteered and worked hard for this and then we have some new people who are happy to see it happening who uh, are part of the community and are going to benefit from it as well. I, I don't think anyone would have thought it would happen this fast when we did that ride last year. Uh, I loved it but I was at the same time quite fearful at, at various points uh, and that was a, a protected group planned ride so something that advocates have been fighting for years and I'm grateful because I know it's going to save lives. It's a protected lane running on both sides of Queens Boulevard against the median along the access roads. It's going to be green painted with uh, flexi bollards down the side to protect us from traffic. It's fantastic. The wind is fantastic. I feel safe, it's protective, and it's great to scream. Yes, protected bike lanes on Queens Boulevard. I love it. It's good. It's perfect. Perfect for her. It's great. I think this is awesome. We need these bike lanes in Queens. We got them, and I just give so much thanks to the activists that came before us that did this for us. Love it, love it. Thank you so much, uh, DOT. Thank you so much, JVB, and thank you so much, all of we. We do ride on this thing locally and we appreciate it and my wife works in Jamaica and we live in Long Island City so this will get used. The people who've been working on this the longest, spent the most time advocating, writing letters, getting petitions signed, never would have guessed that we would be on a protected bike lane in the summer of 2015. It's amazing. I just want to say to everyone how great was it to ride your bike on a protected bike lane on Queens Boulevard. Yeah. I think we have one of the biggest town hall meetings ever the uh, visioning session and uh, town hall meeting on how we could make this boulevard safer and make this work. Uh, several hundred people at PS11 in Woodside, Queens. Each one of those workshops came back and said we have to have a bike lane on Queens Boulevard. It is a necessity for this community. And that's not including the community board meetings, getting the community board invo involved and on board. Uh, this was a true model process involving the community and how to make this street a complete street, make it safer for all and create this beautiful green bike lane. This is because of all of your work. Things can change. Don't let anyone ever tell you it can't be done. For a couple of years, we were doing monthly Queens Boulevard bike pool rides, which was a transportation alternative volunteers from the Queens Committee. And we'd come out here and we'd put on orange vests and ride uh, eastbound on Queens Boulevard on the service road to try to raise awareness after many casualties on the boulevard. The unfortunate thing is there are so many people that couldn't actually ride down this bike lane today because they were, they were killed in traffic incidents, uh, cyclists and pedestrians. But hopefully that will be a thing of the past. We've lost way too many people. I mean, it, it's a constant droning of, of our friends, our families uh, being killed or seriously injured. That's why it has that nickname, the Boulevard of Death. So I don't care if it sounds cliche, we're making it a boulevard of life and uh, it feels really, really good. All I can say is thanks to all the volunteers for their tireless efforts and thanks to the elected officials and the community boards and especially to the families and loved ones of the casualties, people like Lizzie Rahman who never gave up and kept it going. You know, my son has been riding his bicycle for a long time. So he was an experienced biker and very expert. I said we have to get a bike lane on Queens Boulevard. It might not bring my son back, but my, I will know that my son gave his life for a good cause. He's, for him, I'll do this and it will help save the other bikers in the future. 